Good morning. I am excited to be with you again this morning. My name is Velma and thank you for joining me this morning on Devotion on the Go. I'm glad you took some time to just pause and listen to what God is saying this morning. I hope this word blesses you. So back, uh, we're back to Luke chapter 10 and I'm going to read uh, the two verses 27, actually just one verse 27. Uh, the Bible says uh, Jesus was being asked what was the great what were the greatest what was the greatest commandment and this was Jesus's response he said he answered and said love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your strength with all your mind and the second is love your neighbor as yourself and I want to focus this morning on the second part of that commandment uh, there are times when, when we read this commandment, we easily talk about the fact that we should love our neighbors as ourselves, and, and the tendency is to focus on, on the neighbor and forgetting to know that we can't love our neighbor if we don't love us. So I want to ask you, do you love you? And the proof that we love us is how we treat us, is how we treat, uh, how we're able to forgive ourselves when we make mistakes. Is how we are gracious to ourselves when we don't meet up our expectations. Is how we are willing to be vulnerable and take care of ourselves, this bodies and this temple that God has given us. Is how we are willing, maybe if, if we are going through a challenge, to be able to talk with someone so we can find the help that we need. Loving ourselves means pausing and realizing where am I struggling and what can I do to be able to, to get that part of my life better improved. Because when we love ourselves, we take care of ourselves. It's not love when we don't take care of ourselves and we try to go out and take care of others. What we are going to do is going to be a broken person trying to be able to heal another one who is broken. But God says we shall love our neighbor as ourselves. That's why there are times we have relationships that are broken, people that are hurting. Because we have not loved ourselves enough. And when we go try to go out there to love people, we can't give what we don't have. And the least thing that come against us, we easily get offended that we are hurt because we don't love ourselves. So this morning, I want you to think through your life and ask yourself this tough question, do I love my health? And what is the proof? Am I taking care of my body? Am I taking care of my health? Am I taking care of my mind? Am I resting? Am I spending time with God? Am I building healthy relationships? What is the proof that you love yourself? If you're not loving yourself, taking care of yourself, investing in yourself, then there is proof. It's proof that you don't love you. You don't love you and it's going to become difficult for you to love another person. If not, you're going to be trying to love them, but instead you're going to be hurting them or having all this expectation. And I want you to know that loving yourself doesn't mean self, being self-centered or being selfish. It's just saying I want to be able to be the kind of vessel that God can use to be able to bless somebody else. So this morning, take a moment and love yourself so that through you God can love many others who are hurting because if you are hurting then you can bring healing to someone else let me pray for you this morning father I pray for my brother and my sister who is watching this morning and I don't know what it is that they are going through in their lives where the areas where they still experience they are still they still feel like uh, it's not whole areas where they still need your mending areas where they still need your hand to work on them. I ask you this morning that you, God, will take uh, just like a potter works on the clay that you work on them and that it will become the vessels that you are calling them to become. We know that none of us is perfect, but each day we want to become more like you so that you can use us to bless our world. So bless them, Holy Spirit, as they take this journey of loving themselves so that they can love the world better. In Jesus' name, amen.